Hello everyone. Today we will talk about reproduction in flowering plants, especially about flowers. In the previous lesson, we talked about reproduction, and we also talked about uh, we talked about the two types of re reproduction: the sexual and asexual reproduction. Today we will talk about reproduction in plants, exactly in flowering plants. Firstly, the objectives for this lesson are, firstly, you should understand the part played by flowers in the life of a flowering plant. And also, you should be able to identify the parts of a typical flower. And finally, you should be able to state the functions of parts of a flower. This topic, you studied about it in grade 9. In grade 9, we talked about uh, flower and uh, parts of flower, and also we explained the function of each part. Now, an individual plant any plant, it's like any other living organism, okay? Uh, this organism, to uh, survive, okay, uh, the plant or the individual of plant must be able to replace itself because, as you know, because it's living thing, so it has a life span, life cycle. Uh, it will reach a, a point and this, and, and this uh, organism will die. So... Uh, the species to continue or uh, it should happen what it should be replaced by another one how this will be replaced it will be replaced by process of reproduction <coughs> so firstly we will talk about sexual reproduction in plants when we are saying sexual reproduction in plants that's mean here we will have two uh, two parts will be involved. That, what do you mean by two parts will be involved? It means there should be male organs and female organs. Now, flowering plants, as their name suggests, are able to reproduce by what? By flowers. So flowers, if you want to give a definition for flower, we will say a flower or flowers are adapted structures for reproduction. Here we will see uh, the life cycle of uh, flowering plants or how flowering plants it will reproduce. The life cycle of flowering plant it consists of many stages or it goes through many stages from seed. Firstly, a seed, this seed it will, uh, under the correct conditions, the seed germinate to produce a young plant. Firstly, you will have a seed. This seed, uh, there should be some conditions, favorable conditions for it. What do you mean by favorable, favorable conditions here? Like there should be, uh, there should be enough amount of water and a, a specific temperature for it to germinate. When this seed, it will germinate, it will form a young plant. Then, this young plant uh, will, will grow, will be mature. Then, when it will be mature, what's that mean? It will form a flower. Now, we have a plant with a flower. Inside this flower, there is what? Male and female gametes. Okay? Inside the flower, male and female gametes develop. Then, by a process we call it pollination. The pollination will occur in the flower. What do you mean by pollination? Pollination is the transfer of male gametes to the female gametes. Okay, pollination occurs when the male gametes are transferred to the female parts of the flower in another definition another definition for it you will say pollination it's the process of transferring the pollen from anther from the male reproductive organ to the stigma 
of female reproductive organ. <clears throat> after that, after pollination, after transferring of male gamete, now what will happen? The male gamete will fuse with the female gamete. As we explained in last lesson, we say when a male gamete fuse with female gamete, now what we will call this uh, process, we will call it a fertilization. Now, male gametes uh, fuse with the female gametes at fertilization. So, now this process of fertilization, where it will take place, it will take place in the uh, female part of the flower. Okay. Now, this is flower, and here it's the male and female reproductive organs inside a flower. And here what, what happened, if we will take the flower and we will zoom it in, it will look like uh, this way, this shape. Now, this part, it's the male reproductive organ. This part, the green one, it's the female. Now, as you can see here what's happening, this is the pollen. It will transfer to the uh, stigma or to the female reproductive organ. This then, the, it will grow and it will go inside a, a tube will form and then it will go inside the uh, female reproductive organ and here the fertilization will happen. When the fertilization will happen, now what will happen? Now you have a zygote or fertilized egg. Now this, fertil this zygote, it will develop, okay? So following fertilization, what will happen? A fruit develops from the female part of the flower. Okay, here the female reproductive organ, it consists of three parts. The upper part, we call it stigma. The second part, we call it style. And this part, all of it, we call it ovary. Now, after fertilization, what will happen? The ovary, this part, all of it, it will turn to be fruit. Inside it, we have the egg or the ovule. This ovule, it will develop to be seed. Okay, now as you can see here, this is what? This is a fruit and here it's the seed inside it. Then what will happen? This seed will, uh, is dispersed. What does that mean? It will disperse. It will uh, move to another place and then the life cycle will repeat itself. So here again we have uh, the steps that uh, the flower it goes through it uh, during the uh, reproduction. Again, uh, the steps are what? Firstly, we say you will have a young plant. This young plant will develop reproductive organs. What are these reproductive organs? They are the flowers. Then what will happen inside the flowers? The sex cells develop inside reproductive organs organs which are what are their productive organs here they are the the male reproductive organ uh, which is uh, the anther okay inside the anther there will there will be pollen and in female reproductive organ inside the ovary there will be egg or we call it ovule then after that pollination What's pollination? We say the male sex cells are transferred to the female sex cells. After pollination, we will have fusion. The male and female reproductive uh, organs, the male and female gametes, sorry, will uh, fuse with each other. It will, uh, uh, by the fertilization, and it will uh, make or it will produce zygote. Then, this zygote develop into embryo. This embryo, it will uh, grow in, uh, into a new plant and the cycle will repeat itself. This was the life cycle of plant in uh, flowering plant. Here we have some differences between, a male, uh, between uh, plants and uh, animals. How? Because Animals, they move around freely, so they are motile. Motile, it means they have the ability to move from one place to another. But this is opposite to plant. Plants live in a fixed position. Now, so what will happen or how this will affect? 
In plants, the gametes, okay, the male gamete, it must, uh, male gamete may have to be carried, carried some distances to meet female gametes. So here what will happen, uh, the male uh, it should be carried then to meet with the uh, female reproductive organ or female gamete. Then, young plants embryos may have to be carried some distances to get away from their parents. Uh, some plants, after, after uh, fertilization, after uh, forming the embryo, the embryo, it should be uh, carried, it should be cut from the parent uh, plant and put in, putting it in another place. This, it will not happen in uh, animals. In animals, uh, just it will give birth so the the the, uh, the offspring let's say uh, it can move freely most plants are hermaphrodite 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 what's that mean this is a scientific name the meaning of it uh, when a plant or when a flower that have male and female sexual parts on the same individual. Here, as you saw, here this flower, on the same flower of the same plant, we have male and female reproductive organs. So a plant uh, with this, this, kind, this kind of plants, this kind of flowers, we call them hermaphrodite. Uh, this means that male gametes only have to travel short distance to the female gamete. The formation of flowers. Flowers, they will form from a bud, okay, which is a collection of cells at the end of flower stalk. What do you mean by here flower stalk? Stalk, it means like stem. Uh, when you will look, if you look at plant, let's come here. Uh, when you will look at a plant, so uh, here it's the stem, and then this it's this part it's the stalk. From a point from of this stalk, here it is. Okay, now this is the flower stalk. Then from uh, from the stalk, okay, what will happen? It will form. We call them. Uh, we call them rings they are four rings what do you mean by four rings this ring four rings or they are specialized leaves okay now these four rings how it will form or what how what will happen in this uh, four rings the plant or sorry the flower it will consist of these three four uh, parts Stamen, carpal, petal, and sepal. Okay. A flower, it consists of these four main parts. What are these four main parts? Stamen. Stamen, it's the male part of the flower. Carpal, it's the female part of flower. Okay. Stamen, it's the male. Carpal, it's the female then we will have petal or petals. Petals usually it's what? It's the colored leaves. Okay, this colored leaves, uh, usually brightly colored and scented. What, what's the meaning of scented? It means it has uh, like a smell, okay? So, uh, they produce nectar. This nectar is a chemical, uh, a sugary solution. Uh, bees, when it will land on it, so it will, this flower will attract the bees and these bees will try to suck this nectar. When it will uh, move from one flower to another, what will happen? The process of pollina pollination, it will happen. Then the last part, it's what? It's sepal or sepals. Sepals, they are these, the green leaves. These green leaves, uh, the main function of it, it's what? It's to protect the internal parts. So, again, the flower, it will form from a bud in the flower stalk. This bud, it will form, it will form four rings. These four rings, they will develop then into stamen, 
carpal, petal, and sepal. Now, here we say the stamen or the male uh, part of the flower. Here is the male part of the flower. If you will focus on it, you will see it consists of uh, two parts. Now, the stamen, it consists of two parts. This part, the upper one, and the lower one. The upper one, we call it anther. Anther. What's anther? What's the function of it? It contains pollen sac filled with the pollen grains. This part, if you will open it, you will see it has like small rooms in it, or we call them sacs, okay? Each sac, it consists of many pollen grains in it. Then, the female reproductive organ or the carpal, this part, the green one. The female reproductive organ, it consists, or sorry, before that, uh, for uh, male, this part, the lower part, we call it a filament. Uh, the function of it is just to hold the anther. Okay? The female reproductive organ, it consists of three parts. The upper one, we call it stigma. The middle one we call it style, and the lower one we call it ovary. Now, the function of each part. The stigma, it's a platform on which the pollen grains land. In pollination, we say the pollen, it will transfer from anther to the stigma. So, stigma here is just a platform, uh, so the pollens will land on it. Then, the second part of it, style. The second part. Style, it's what? It's a stalk which holds the stigma in the best position to receive pollen. Okay? Style, it's a structure that it will hold the stigma. And also you can say uh, it's a tube that connects stigma to the ovary. Then, uh, the last part, which is ovary. Okay? Ovary. It's the lower part, the function of it, it produces the uh, eggs or it will produce the ovule, okay? Ovary is a, hollow, it's a hollow chamber, the ovules develop from the walls of the ovary. So here are the, all the parts of flower, you should uh, memorize all of, all of the flowers all the parts of flower and also the function of each uh, part. Then inside the ovary, we said there will be ovule. If we will zoom in the ovule, uh, it's in this shape. So uh, here we have the ovule, okay? Female nucleus in ovule. O ovule, inside it, there is the nucleus. Okay, and here there is opening. Okay, we call it micropyle. Micropyle uh, in uh, in fertilization when the uh, male gamete or when the pollen will fuse with the female nucleus. Here it will pass or it will enter through the micropyle. Dear students, this was everything for this lesson. I hope everything was clear. Your task for this lesson is to solve the questions, these questions and also the questions in the workbook. If you, when you will finish watching this uh, video, please write a comment. If you have uh, any questions, concerns, don't hesitate to text me. Thank you and have a good day.